this video, we'll show you how to deploy the Juniper Network's VSRX Next Generation Firewall on Google Cloud Platform, also known as GCP. You can access GCP from the GCP Marketplace. The VSRX Virtual Firewall provides a comprehensive security solution that can keep pace with evolving threats while matching the agility and scalability of virtualized and cloud environments. Using VSRX Virtual Firewall on GCP enables you to stay ahead of threats and protect your workloads while providing enhanced connectivity with IPsec and VPN termination services. First, let's look at a typical scenario where the VSRX Virtual Firewall is deployed on GCP. Here, a VSRX virtual machine is set up between public and private connections so that virtual private cloud or VPC network traffic is able to reach a public external client only through the VSRX firewall. In this scenario, the VSRX has three interfaces. The first one is the VM management interface FXP0. We use this interface to manage and access configurations. The second is interface GE001 for connecting to private networks. And the third is an internet gateway interface GE000 that provides connectivity and public access. Now let's deploy the VM on GCP and access the VSRX instance using the management interface. To do that, we need the following requirements in place a valid VSRX 3.0 license, and familiarity with the licensing details. A Google account with an identity and access management role, including the required permissions to access, create, modify, and delete Compute Engine instances and storage services. GCP allows you to use predefined and customized Compute Engine instance types based on your needs. The instance type specifies a particular collection of virtualized hardware resources, including vCPU count, memory size, and maximum disk capacity. Links to the licensing guide, instance types, and the VSRX deployment guide at the Tech Library are available in the description below. And finally, we need an SSH public-private key pair. We can use any terminal emulator or SSH tool to generate the SSH key pair. Log into the console and issue the SSH keygen command. Notice the private key is named GCP user1 and saved to the default SSH directory. We need this key later on to authenticate the VSRX instance. Issue the cat gcp user.pub command to view the SSH RSA key pair as shown on the screen. We'll want to keep this public-private key pair on hand when we deploy the VSRX VM in the GCP marketplace later on. Next, we'll need to create the VPC networks and subnetworks before we start our deployment. These VPC networks act as a virtual network for your VSRX virtual machine. To create the VPC, log into the Google Cloud Platform Console using your account. On the left, Navigate to VPC Network and click VPC Networks. A list of existing VPC networks appears. Now, at the top, click Create VPC Network. Let's name it User Management Network and give it a brief description. Be sure to remember this VPC name as we deploy the VSRX VM later on. We'll now add a subnet for the VPC network. Name the subnet User Management Subnet 1. Select a region. We're using US Central for our setup example. Assign a valid private IP address range. Each added subnet must also include a unique IP address range. Leave the remaining fields with their default values. To accept the subnet settings, click Done. Click Create. On the VPC Networks list, the name of your new network appears. We recommend creating a minimum of three VPC networks. Use the same steps just covered to create your additional networks. The user trust and the user untrust networks listed here were previously created. The VSRX VM uses the first VPC network, which we've just created for VM management and assigns it interface FXP0. 
Interfaces GE001 and GE000 are assigned to the remaining two VPC networks. Back on the dashboard page, everything looks good and we're ready to deploy our first VSRX VM on GCP. From the menu on the left of the page, select Marketplace. Type VSRX in the search box. Three options are listed. We'll choose VSRX Next Generation Firewall. On the overview page, click the launch button to get going. On the new VSRX Next Generation Firewall deployment page, let's give our deployment a name. Next, select US Central for the zone. This is the same zone we selected while creating the VPC networks. Retain the default value for machine type. Different options are available depending on your license. Next, let's provide the SSH public key we generated and kept on hand from earlier. We can copy the key directly from the CLI output. Exercise caution as you modify the auto-populated text. Delete everything up to the GCP user text. Then paste in the copied SSH public key. Ensure that the block project-wide SSH keys option is selected. This ensures that only instance level keys work on this VM. Now we'll create the network interfaces using the same VPC network and subnet that we've already created. Select user management network and the corresponding subnet, user management subnet one with IP address 10.240.0.0/24. Note that we can add only those subnets that are created for the selected zone. In our example, the zone is US Central. Next, ensure that the ephemeral is selected for external IP. This option allows GCP to assign a public IP address to our VSRX VM once it is displayed. Click Done. Follow the steps we just covered to add more network interfaces. At the bottom, click the arrow labeled More to view and confirm that IP forwarding is set to On. This option is required for the VSRX firewall to function. With all changes now in place, click Deploy. We see the progress of the VSRX deployment on the Deployment Manager page. A message verifies the completion of the deployment. You'll also receive an email confirmation. To view the details of our deployed VM, click our instance name in the right panel. On the Compute Engine page, Find and take note of the external IP address listed here under Network Interfaces. This IP address is required in the next step. We'll now access the VSRX instance through the CLI and set an administrator password. In SSH, navigate to the SSH key directory. Enter your private key file name, GCP user 1, and log in as GCP user. For SSH access, include the external IP address shown here that we just noted. You won't be asked for a password. Confirm the connection and type yes. Once system authentication is successful, we get access to our vSRX instance. Wonderful. We now need to change the admin password. To do that, type edit to enter configuration mode. Issue the set system root authentication plain text password command. Provide a password and confirm your choice. After setting the password, we'll enable JWeb access as an optional step. Use the GCP firewall rules in your VSRX instance to limit the management access through JWeb. Issue the set system services web management HTTPS command. Use the commit check command to confirm that the configuration is valid. Now type commit to accept the configuration and then type exit. Perfect, the VSRX instance is deployed in GCP. We can now use the CLI to log in to the instance and further customize the configuration. Thanks for watching this video. For further details, visit VSRX documentation at the Juniper Networks Tech Library.